while I was praying with my brother and my good friend and my companion in the trip, Khurum, someone came and he was tapping me on my shoulder, tapping me on my back because they wanted to join in the prayer. I want to tell you guys, anytime you want to join the prayer, whether it's in the masjid or outside of the masjid, what's the correct way to do it? How do you do it? If there are two people in the prayer, there are two people, first of all, if there's one person, he's praying by himself, then you come and you're the second person, you get to his right, you get on his right side, and you put your feet even with his feet. Don't be back a little bit. That thing about being back, you know, a little bit, because he's the imam, he has no delil, no proof. You put your feet right next to his, exactly, shoulder to shoulder to his right. And then if a third person wants to come to add on and to join those two, he doesn't push the imam, he doesn't push the one who's praying or pull the one who's praying, he gets to the left of the imam. The second person, the third one, he gets even with the imam on his left, and then it's up to the imam. If the imam wants to push them back, he can. And if the imam wants to leave them there, he can. Where did I get this from? Our religion, you young brothers, is based upon the Quran and based upon what the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Beware of people telling you, do this, do that, don't do this, don't do that. And when you ask them why, they say, I don't know. They have to present to you an ayah, they have to present to you a hadith. So why do I tell you this is the way to do it? I tell you, because it has something to do with young people. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Khalid, he was praying in his house the night prayer. And one of the young people from his household, Anas ibn Malik, he came and he stood on the left side of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, on the left side. Prophet Muhammad took the boy and brought him around while they were praying. He brought him around and put him on the right side and put him equal with him. And then a second young man came from his Adul Bayt, from his household. That second young man, he stood to the left of the Prophet on the left side. So the Prophet وسلم, took both of them and he pushed them back and they made the road by themselves. He said in the authentic hadith, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Inna fa salat la shughla. He said the Salat, when you pray, Salat, you're busy. You have a lot of things to think about. You're busy. You have to look at where you're going to make sajda. You have to read the Quran. You have to contemplate about what you're reading. You have to remember what raka you're on. There are a lot of things to think about. So that means people should not make you busy with other stuff. You're praying and someone is in front of you and he's wearing a shirt with Heineken on it. Heineken beard. Don't, don't come to the masjid with that. Because if you're praying in front of me, I'm going to be looking at that. He's praying in front of you. And when he makes ruku or sajda, his aura comes up in the back. Don't do that. Because I'm already busy, busy. So, why do I tell you this hadith? Someone is praying. He doesn't need someone coming, pushing him back and forth like that. You don't push people and touch him. He's already busy in his salah. So again, you come to the right side. The third person comes to, or the second person, he wants to join those two, he comes to the left side of the imam. If the imam leaves them, no problem. The next person comes on the left or the right, and they, four people. Next one comes, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If the imam leave them, no problem. The imam left them, no problem. But it's up to the imam. If the imam chooses to put them in the back, then that's what they do. You guys understand that? So that's how you join the prayer. Don't push and pull anyone. The second thing that I want to bring to your attention about the prayer and the way of giving advice in the blessed month of Ramadan and keeping with the sunnah and spreading the sunnah and educating the community, trying to get rewards, is that in the prayer, there are a lot of things that you should do and a lot of things that you shouldn't do, like pushing and pulling is one of the things you shouldn't do. Another thing is what was collected by Al Imam Muslim in his book of Hadith. The Prophet as the companion said, Nahana and Tishmir Prophet Muhammad 
He made it prohibited for us to roll up our clothes when we pray. If you're working and you want to roll up your clothes, no problem. You want to roll up your pants, no problem. If you're praying, if you're working, you can do that. But when you pray, when you pray, Prophet Muhammad said, pull, unroll your clothes when you pray. And that's why for brothers who they roll their pants up to be above their ankle, this is wrong. He says, Whatever is below the ankle bone is in the hellfire. So what the person should do if he wears pants is he should have his pants cut above his ankle, not when time salat, you roll them up. Because he said, don't do that. Two things. He said, don't braid your hair when you're praying. Don't braid your hair. And don't roll up your clothes when you're praying. It's permissible to roll up your clothes if you're working, okay? You're traveling. You're riding a horse. No problem. You can roll up your clothes. But when it's time to pray, you should pull your clothes down. And that's how you should pray.